merging Austin FC and local Austin culture, whatever that, whatever shape that takes, wherever you want to take it. And more importantly, most importantly, wherever you guys want to take it. So this is a live show, uh, wow. right? We're on YouTube right now. Uh, we want you guys engaged in the chat because this is a feedback show. This is where we talk, but we're also talking to you. Uh, we're talking about Austin FC. We're talking about Austin culturally, and we want this to be a give and take. And that's what's going to make this fun. We're trying to have fun here. We're doing something new. Uh, we're glad. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna rip into it. You know, um, Marshall and I. Uh, I, I'll say this: Marshall is a true Texan. <laughs> You're from here, right? Yeah, born and raised in Dallas, Texas. Um, went to school in Fort Worth at TCU. Go Frogs! Um, and now Frogs. reside here in Austin. Um, Ali, when did you when did you get here? So 2015. Yeah, don't don't here. You know what? Let it rip too. Uh, I am a yet again another California transplant. Boo. My family. Oh, no, he's I'm giving kidding, me the food. <laughs> it's more friendly at Q2 Stadium than right now in St. David's, <laughs> where we're live. Um, so my family and I moved from LA in 2015. Uh, like a lot of folks, we were drawn by the opportunity to live in Austin and just cut a little piece of this really really cool town. And that's how we're approaching. Um, this show and, and and Austin FC, it feels like this is, you know, we're on the precipice. That's the smartest word I'm going to use, um, <laughs> the biggest word I know. Uh, but we're we're uh, we're on the cusp of something totally new here. Finally, Austin, the tenth largest city, has its own sports team. And like my good friend here, who went to TCU, I went to USC. Again, don't at me or at me. Um, <laughs> just 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 keep ripping it. Um, this is an opportunity for the entire city to root for something. Yes. To wear the same colors. Absolutely. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. The Austin, uh, it's a great point. Austin, 10th uh, uh, largest city, metro area in the country. The, the largest one without a professional sports team until Insane. until last year. So we everyone here locally was excited. And, and this show, again, is about embracing that excitement embracing uh, the local sports fans, the sports groups that support us, and the, the scene, the local culture, as best we can. Um, and we're going give, to give that to you as best as, as best as we know how. And we're going to be learning along the way. We're going to have a good time. Yeah. Um, speaking you know, of good times. Yeah. Um, we want to talk about it. Yeah, we can go. We can we, go there. We, we go in th we're going there, everybody. Well, we had we're our opening game, but in that opening game, Guys usually wear something, you know. A little flash. Yeah, a little flash, a little, little something. A little green and black. I believe they call Faraday them. and black, if you will. I believe they call them kits. Yes. Um, Austin FC is debuting a brand new kit for Should the 2022 season. I'm rising. I'm rising. Go ahead and give them a show. I, I've been working out just for this. I'm going to give you, like, the, oh, the quarter turn. Spin. Do a little something. Do you want the full? Yeah, I think we need we need it all. I uh, The glutes are a little tight from this man, morning. My man's looking good. good. Yeah. He's looking good. <laughs> I'm gonna keel over, but this is it, baby. That's it. You wanna, this you wanna, it. you wanna show the fans a little something. Yeah, uh, check it out. The latest jersey kit, if you will. Yeah. You know what's funny? I didn't know about that term. Yeah. And that's the new thing. Folks will correct you. Fan. They'll correct you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you'll learn sooner or later. It's a kit. <laughs> it's a kit. Yeah. Maybe we'll start calling it football, but I don't want to confuse <laughs> no, people. Don't do that. We are football. <laughs> but uh, this is the new, the new color right here. Uh, Sentimiento. Yes. Right. Um. Obviously, this is a lighter shade of green kind of works really well for me i'm feeling I love the spring it. vibe right the mint, now man it's it's in right now and then now this is i think we'll say that we'll say that Spen i believe i believe um, our guy spencer in the back has a little something for you guys ooh, a little roll it? i'm gonna let you do that can we roll it yeah. all right so we uh and I, when i say we i say austin fc and that's what's so cool like we're yeah, part of for sure it's a new team for you you're a journeyman you've done on a lot of teams yes. in the nfl uh, but, you know, we are now all part of Austin FC. I feel like the whole city is. Um, there was a really great rollout for this jersey. Um, and uh, I think we've got a little video with the Minister of Culture to kind of set you up on uh, how this thing rolled out. Spencer, if you will, please. Look, we're still at the genesis of this thing. I mean, year one out of 100. <laughs> and we've been growing every day, but our foundation has been laid. So Matthew, can you elaborate a little bit on what you mean when you say Verde is more than a color? What do you mean by that? Well look, Verde is the color green. 
right? But more importantly, and at its core, it's a sentiment. Look, Verde is my boy Carlos, right? He drives 700 miles down from Arkansas for every home match. Verde is Stephanie, a local school teacher, spending her weekdays inspiring the next generation of Austinites and her weekends leading the city from the capo stand. Verde is Leo, signing a new language for his love for the club. It's the rhythm of our city. It's a bass line, man. It's the drum beat of Austin. Verde's the passion and the spirit of our players on the pitch. Verde's Driussi, from River to Zenit to Austin, Texas, raising our club to new heights. From Russia with love. Verde's Diego. I mean, this guy's heart and soul lives for the fans. From day one, everything he has done and continues to do is for them. Verde's Stuver, who traveled around the league until Austin gave him a chance to show what he could really do. You know, there's a feeling you get when you see our players, our supporters, and the, the people that make the city what it is. And you know the passion each one of them has for this club. Character, heart, soul, more than a color. about that man the man right that's pretty nice his, the his, voice la voz of austin soothing yeah you know serenading yeah. we'll take that we love we love the minister uh, he's been a big part he's now a owner of austin fc huge part of uh bringing you know the culture and just combining everything to austin that makes austin great um and that video was a prime example um we want to know what you guys think of the jerseys yeah. those are we, the comments are already talk. You know, I call yeah, them men. The comments in. are calling them pistachio, whatever your color uh, color of choice. We want to hear it. This right yeah, here. we would do. We, we we held this for the end. We teased it a little bit. Yeah, a, a great little uh, part of this jersey is the moon tower. I don't know. If, we're not gonna be able to get a zoom in, but if you guys look online, these jerseys are available online. By the way, uh, on Austin FC shop, uh, Verde store, Verde store, MLS YouTube. store. Um, this is an Austin moon tower. Austin. Uh, is one of the biggest cities in the country that used these moon towers back in the day to light city streets. And it's a huge part of the culture. The initial groups, they believe it was Austin Anthem, some of the supporter groups, Yeah. when the team was, was announced, um, met under moon towers. They met at the moon tower. They met at the moon tower. Okay. Is there a the moon tower or a, a moon tower? So what's interesting to me, I'm going to sit down for a second. You're good. I want to be Get back, comfortable. back at your level. Get comfortable. Um, I know, and, you know, again, you know, for me, moving to Austin, the energy of it was so much of it is like a pop culture vibe, you know. Um, Matthew McConaughey, Dazed and Confused, Party at the Moon Tower. Like, I watched that movie in high school before I go out to a party, or at least look for a party. Okay, was, Let's be honest. Was, Let's was be a, real. That was you know a pregame I mean? movie for Heck you? Heck yeah. Okay. In fact, pregame right. was better than the game. Okay. So I didn't know. I'll stand back up. I didn't know that these things were real things. And as I, I, I see one. I live off MLK. Okay. So I, I definitely see one. But it is so interesting to, like, hear somebody who's from Texas who, who grew up with this sure, stuff. Sure. You know? So moon towers. Like, did you have parties in the new town? I know you grew up in Dallas, but did you have parties no, in the new town? No, I, I think there's, uh, just, uh, you know, our generational gap is showing a little bit as far as what we – what we got, what got us going? <laughs> he's uh, he's younger. In our younger days. He's a youngin. He's a youngin. Some days I don't older. feel that way, but I think I am. But yeah, I I, I, I didn't grow up in the I 70s. I understand. Just to be clear, <laughs> okay. I was born Let in seventy seven. Hey, 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 this was no no animus towards you. <laughs> I'm not. I, I'm, Unbelievable. I'm for all ages. Look at you, this. You look good. Whatever <laughs> the skin's popping today. Whatever you got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do, whatever you're doing, keep Dry doing. Dry January it. helps. Doing it. Keep doing it. <laughs> Keep doing it. Um, should we get into the uh, the release of this jersey? So you know, I swear it with Austin. Like, you can't not have anything going without some sort of like good party event. Probably yes. some sort of 
either cool hit bar or even a live music for venue. sure. But for we sure. had a, a release for this, right? Yeah, with a local artist, um, Black Joe Lewis and the Honey Bears. Um, yeah, great band. Too. Great band. Um, Austin FC has done a great job of just integrating um, the music scene here. Uh, yeah. It's huge. Yeah. Um, from you know, me, like historic music venues that, thank God, so many of them survive. Um, what we all went through. We're gonna try to stay away from that, but we're, we're just so thankful that that scene has survived um, for the most part. And a, a, a local band like Black Joe Lewis and the Honey Bears yeah. is gonna kind of usher in um, the culmination of the release of the jersey. So we the, had the this second season going on. Yeah. So this party too, because I haven't been there. Okay. You have uh, Hotel Las Hotel Vegas, Vegas. Hotel and that's Vegas. That's in the east side. Right? It's on the east side. It's in yeah. my backyard. I just thought I haven't even gone. Yeah. But you've been there, right? Yeah. It's a great venue. Um, can be intimate at times, you know. When in my younger days, when there's a little bit, a little more rowdy crowd, yeah, yeah. But then yeah. you could you could catch any kind of show there. It's just a really, really amazing place to to see live music and just check out the scene on the east side. You know that is something, and I have to tell you, like, uh, my wife is 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 the audiophile. She's the one who's like, I got tickets to this show. Da, gotcha. da, da. What is so I think awesome and a, a great thing that Austin FC's done is uh, create these relationships with local. Uh, musicians and local artists too and then you have these venues that are um i mean they're straight up intimate man yeah. like i lived in la you would see like a big show i saw bruno mars at staples center right, right? and like here to me a big show is something at like acl fest sure. but even if you go to like acl live um i uh i've been to scoot in okay that's nice. a super little chill spot yeah. obviously you've got austin stuff. has the the quantity uh, of venues that are smaller and and less of the bigger amphitheaters stadiums yeah. if you will but now q2 as well being its own uh, it's a beast an extra then there's the beast an extra music venue so all the, the yeah. bigger acts the local acts that want to come through they'll have a place to go um k-pop my kid oh my god i don't know anything about it yeah uh, my kid well now you know one thing I, there's a I 10 year old named pete Tan and he he loves <laughs> k-pop and literally we were like oh my god like should we try and go catch one of these bands in L.A.? And uh, maybe they'll be a Q2. You know, so. you know any songs? You want to hum a little bit? You want to get uh, You know, give, give I mean, it's, uh, I'll tell you, though, those guys could flow. Okay. They could flow. Don't, don't, don't mess. I All mean, right. my honestly, like my style a little bit. I'm a Gary Clark, Gary Clark Jr. kind of guy. I like it. I like rock guy. and roll. Yeah. You know, okay. and uh, actually, that's one thing with Black Joe Lewis. When I, when I first checked out that band, what was interesting was, it was kind of like, back in my day, Marshall. <laughs> you know, uh, when I listened to Black Crows, you heard it, and it was like a new song in the 90s, but it sounded like something out of the 70s. Okay. You know what I mean? Throwback. That R&B is just strong, and it's pumping, and that's what I love about uh, uh, Black Joe Lewis as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, obviously a lot of great music venues. Great that Austin FC was able to incorporate uh, one at Hotel Las Vegas uh, uh, for, for this release of this new jersey. You know, it's... It's crazy. This is the first show. Thanks for being here. I feel like, shall we Shall we address the chat, Marshall? I think we need to. Uh, that was my Adrian Healy. And if you don't know who that is, he is the voice. La Hulsa. Legend. Legend Adrian Healy. Uh, yeah. yeah of, of, he, is, he, he calls all the games. He's got a great podcast, Fair Name Black. Big fan of that. Yeah, we the chat's going to be a big part of this, like I said before. Let's jump uh, in. What do we got here? Uh, Fabrice... Cuba. I'm just saying it with flair. I could be way off there. Uh, threw in some flags. Uh, the football club, ITW, best football club. That's what I'm talking about. Keep that pumping. Keep that pumping. Um, Alex said no sound. Michael Bowling says I hear sound. Hey, that shout out to Spencer for He's getting it done, there. baby. He's working. You know? Yeah, he is. I mean, he's literally behind three computers. I think that's impressive. Uh, Dylan Silverstein says 10th largest city but number one in goals scored we are gonna get into that i feel like we should save it but oh my god well i mean consider? we can save most of it but why why not acknowledge the the elephant in the room which is just five oh are you fireworks kidding me? fireworks out of the gate it was nuts it was great it was nuts i can literally tell you that at, at that game i've never been at an austin fc game and you know we have season tickets i went to a lot of uh, those games in the in the first season however 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 um uh you know i uh I, i've never been in a situation at q2 where uh i was like shoot i, I don't want to get up right now mm. i might i'm like should i get up nope no i'm gonna miss something right right literally i only had dos dos Equis. that's never happened 
in the history of season one. You, for were, just, you were just that much into it. Yeah, I were, couldn't. I could not leave. You couldn't leave. You Five didn't know goals? you could miss one. Yeah. Five freaking goals. Can I say that, Spencer? Something special. You're right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't want the FCC <laughs> staying in, Yeah, it. we're staying in compliance. Is the internet still weekend. free? I don't yeah. know. Anymore. <laughs> I don't know. We got to keep the internet free. Uh, you want to jump in here? Any more uh, chats you want to shout out in here? Uh, we're getting a lot of love, but the background. Shout out to again, Ryan, our guy Ryan Madden and Spencer. Um, guys up on oh, the yeah. on the. We've got Stu right here. Oh yeah. Oh man, Driusi, look at that, Fagundes. These guys are. Dang. This is great. Uh, working. They find these. I don't know. These, this is a custom job. You're going to have yeah. to come up here yeah, uh, to Q2 or to St. David's and kind of ask around. I guess I guess don't come up here and ask around. But we can try to find it out for you. But I, this is a custom job. I don't Maybe, know if we you can know do what? that. We can call this out there. Maybe there's some, because obviously Austin is not just a town of musicians, of artists as well. Yeah. Maybe there is an opportunity for an artist to really, you know, jump in there and, you know, like create some cool uh, uh artwork i mean I'd, I'd i'd pick something up absolutely for the right price yeah. of course for the right let's not get out of hand here um <laughs> wait someone gave me a shout out i look great in the slimming this is actually they're a noticing it's they're like noticing a, yeah it's it's keeping now, it all the, in don't check do the, don't do the modest thing we that's know better true. we it's know true. better just it's own true. it you're, you're earning it you're earning it every bit of it i put it to work yeah there you I put go it to work i mean you know what this thing too I, i'm watching those guys you know I, i'm new to soccer Totally new to soccer, uh, at least certainly keeping up with an entire season. Sure. You know, like, you know, in the past, like, we would watch World Cup and then be like, oh, heck, yeah, let's, let's sure. chime in and stuff. And, you know, when you watch this game and you see these guys hustle and sprint the way they do, especially when you see it live. In person. You're like, dude, that's a big field. Yeah. That's a really there big field. A lot of miles, miles plural that they're running around. So when I think about this, you know, at some point, too, you know, we're going to have a blast, but we're also going to, like, you know, eventually talk to, like, other folks associated with the game, like, you know, players. I can't be – if I'm going to be wearing a jersey, I can't have no beer gut. You know what I mean? If I got the stew, you know what I mean? <laughs> he, he's tall, but he's he's still a lean machine. So I'm just trying to keep up with the brand. For sure. I'm trying to keep up with the brand. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, wow. So we crushed through some chats. We've got more to talk about. We've got a whole agenda here. Damn, I mean, we might just have to get into the. Can we get into the beef? Big you mean big one? You mean the, dive all the, the way? Thing in. The, thing the thing that happened. The thing. The thing that happened in the place and the time. Five. Yeah. Five, five, five. Oh. Uh, we want to see in the chat if you were at the game or you watched the game. Yes. Let us know how you felt. Let us know how that first goal felt. The second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. Um, incredible showing. Uh, I um, I gotta say, uh, I and you know like, <laughs> someone like me and like. When I'm at the game, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm, the world's going to know it. First of all, it was freaking cold. It was cold. It's been cold here in Austin, right? I had a solution, and I'm just going to plug my socials. You can go on uh, my Instagram, uh, at Alicon Eats, and because uh, I like to eat. That's, that's fair. That's the thing. I also like to eat. That's fine. I wanted to stay warm because it's an outdoor venue, right. obviously, right? Um, so I had a onesie. I had a snowy. I had a snowsuit, my ski outfit, you know? And, um, yeah, I, I had to stay warm. I snapped a picture of myself. We were the two. We were beyond the second minute. Mm -hmm. Is that the right way to yeah, investigate? Yeah, that's fine. In the second minute? That's fine. Because we'll, Marshall knows. We'll get, well, hold on. We'll get, we'll get an encyclopedia, uh, or soccer encyclopedia. The terms, right? Yeah, but I think you're all right. I got kit down. Yeah. Let's see what I'm like, I'll I'm not going to know it all. I, I have a few things that, uh, that I'm, I have wrapped up, but not at all. Not you're all right. of it. Yeah. But you know what? And it's. We're just jumping around, but it's all good. I, you know, one of the things I found really interesting, we chatted, uh, you know, in preparation for this show, is how you fell into this game because you fell yeah. into this game in a pretty amazing way in Germany, right? Yeah, uh, I was fortunate enough uh, my senior year of high school to get to go on a, a senior trip uh, to Austria and Germany, and just so happens that was uh, the spring of '06. Germany was hosting World the Cup. World Cup, so they were prepping. In Munich for the World Cup and just seeing the pageantry, how how Germany is such a, a, a huge soccer country, um, and how much they were prepping and just you could feel a buzz and it really hadn't even the the main meat of it had the people hadn't even gotten there yet you could feel a buzz and I was like I'll, you know there's something to this and I was like all right I, I read up a little bit and I was like right, I need I think I need to adopt a team yeah well you know the first thing that comes to mind is either MLS or Premier League those are the big ones or maybe the 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 
the you know the historic ones, the FC Barcelona's yeah, and yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, but yeah. I was like, you know what? I'm here in Germany. Let me pay homage to where I kind of the spark yeah. was lit for me. Yeah. And so I adopted FC Bayern. So that was my that's been my team. Um, oh, still to this yeah, day. Yeah, still to this day. You yeah. know, I I'll say this too. I obviously other than Austin FC now. Well, sure, yeah. sure. But I mean, there's something to be said. I think. Look, a lot of you guys. Um, at, at least I, I'm speaking for myself, and I'm sure there's other people here too. You know, we're new to this sport, right? Yeah. And we're all sharing this experience of a new team starting in a city that's never had a professional sports team before. I think it's rad when you just pick a team and go, these are my guys. You yes. know what I mean? Yes. It's not like, oh, hey, you know, baseball, I guess I'll pick the Yankees or all basketball, I'll pick the Lakers. Sure. Like, you know, I grew up in St. Louis, Cardinals. Granted, we had a lot of success, but like it's a thicker thing kind of thing. And I like when you're just saying, you know what, these are the guys. Sure. And I feel like that is a spark we all have the opportunity to get into. We're ground four in it. We're going to do some stuff. Absolutely. Well, before we get into more of the game, we're going to go back to chat. We've got some some people you might might know pretty Wait, well. Wait, really? Who do I know? Our guy, Who's Carlos, it? who drives... Oh, really? 700-some-odd miles. That dude. For awesome FC on. games. So you, tell me a little bit about what you know about Carlos. Carlos, shout out. Uh, he says, still in love with the new kit today as, as I was when they showed it to me the first time. Carlos getting a, a sneak peek. Um, yeah. Shout out to our man. Tell us a little bit about how you know him. So, um, Carlos, who I know, I know Carlos really uh, just from w watching that video. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, I mean, the dude drives 700 miles. That's crazy, right? Like, guys. Crazy in a good way. We love it. 700 miles. What have I you driven 700 miles for in your life? Now, Other than to the, be fair. The road trip you couldn't, you almost killed your sibling on. <laughs> the, the school trip that you, you know, you were stuck with someone you hated on the bus. Yeah. This guy is coming 700 miles For to see day. the squad. And what better way to pay him back for that than a five And five he's got mil? a killer ride, too. Oh, you great. See that? I think he's got, he's like got a great whip. Yes. Yeah, that thing is, that is. So shout out Carlos. Uh, again, Carlos in the chat. Plenty of you guys Hard in the chat. Fan. We're going to catch up a little bit more here in the chat. Uh, Oh, there it is. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. So he just said, I believe there's a video floating around out there of me taking my shirt off celebrating the fourth goal. Carlos, we're trying to keep PG in here, man. We're, you know, I don't know how much skin we're allowed to at, show. At the same time. I love time, the enthusiasm, though. Spencer, get a fourth computer. Let's let's have that on we, deck just you know, in case. If, if we can clear it, Carlos, I'm down. <laughs> I'm down to see you repping for the goal. Um, we had another person say, uh, Logan makes music. Love the background and the Coleman is jersey. Yeah, that's a great. We're gonna something we're gonna do here on set. We're kind of messing around. This is a work in progress. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna try to feature too. feature some jerseys of either people connected to the team or the organization. Uh, this is our guy Coleman. This is his Slovenian national team jersey right here, hanging up in the rafters. Um, you love to see it. It's a great looking jersey. We're gonna try to guys give us some ideas of, of, of other players or other people associated. Yeah, that yeah, like can, you know what makes this, this is our this let's is your decorate. space as much as ours. We're gonna kind of roll with it and see what happens. Um, but yeah, thanks for thanks for shouting that out, Logan. Yo quiero buena camisita. I think I got that right. Oh, I, man. I think I even stepped over. I think a potential typo there. I think they like my shirt, Luis. I like my shirt there too. There you go. And he's from uh, Monterrey. Monterey. All right, Luis. You know, I have a Monterey jersey. You know, somebody I want to chime in too. I actually have, I, and again, I'm new to this sport, but it's cool because three billion people are into it. So I right. feel like I need to uh, learn more about it, sure. right? Um, I've got a Monterey jersey. I've got a Mexico national. Okay. I got a random... I mean, you want to talk about jumping on the bandwagon? I have a Barcelona. That's fine. You Barcelona got a, but you got a little collection but just, going. They're, they're so cool. Yeah, for sure. They're just like, you know, like, it's just a great look. Yeah. I think now that I got this, now I got the bod down for the jersey, next up I'm going to get the crazy haircut. What's what the crazy, uh, what, what does that mean? Crazy that, haircut can I mean, mean a lot of things. I mean, you know, I feel like when you watch. I don't uh, want to have to disown you as my co-host. Wow, I, it's not going to be Because if you crazy. if you go off the rafters, I'm not like sure what I can do. Like a footballer haircut. What, I, I still, again, what does you that know, mean? You they like do like the zip and the zap. The, the zip maybe, and the zap? Maybe a little okay. mohawk right. action. Okay. How about a mohawk? There you go. Is that too is No, that too I think you're okay. I'm dating myself. Have you seen the Neymar documentary? He goes through a whole hair thing. You know, through his, you know, from his time he was young to, to now. Yeah. You know, he's had a faux hawk for a while. He, yeah, that guy's got Multiple swag, colors. Dude. That guy's got swag. So actually, you know, it's about that's owning else. it, you know? I, I in, in, in really anticipation of this, and again, just an opportunity to be a part of, of, of Austin FC, 
it's been part of my pleasure, really, and, and the homework to kind of like learn a little bit more about the sport. Sure. So a guy like me, you know, I'm a, uh, I'm a cinephile. Okay. So I'm like, you know, what kind of like, you know, documentaries can I watch and get into it? So I've been watching um, uh, All or Nothing, uh, the Tottenham oh, Hotspurs, sure. right? Yeah. Still, I still got a ways to go, but I want to know, A, other uh, uh, shows that you might like that I should watch you to kind of get. And don't say Ted Lasso. What? Because I, <laughs> I know about Ted Lasso. But if you like Ted Lasso, that's okay. But if you guys have ideas about, like, um, you know, cool soccer it, shows. Pop, soccer you know, specific. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. you know, I'm just gotcha. really trying to, like, get immersed in the sport of that. Well, it's no surprise exciting. I'm watching the FC Bayern documentary on Amazon Prime. Shout out. Mm. Uh, it's, it's been great so far. It's. I think they're they're covering 2020 and 2021 that season. I mean, obviously that's that's a weird amidst, one, right? It's amidst you know COVID, COVID and sure. a lot of turnover. That you know they're going for uh, multiple cups in a row. But yeah, a great one that I would start with. It's been it's been a lot of fun. Uh, back in uh, back in the chat here, who we got? Yeah, what's going on? And can we? Oh, that's so funny. Look, so I think we were talking about Kip Keller earlier. How are we feeling about Kip Keller? You know, I'll just say it straight up. I am uh, in, in, in literally keeping up with the five goals yeah. that happened at the home opener. I literally have been like, okay, so I'm, 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 I'm learning, really learning sure. the players. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I did take some notes. I'm, I'm very happy that I get to uh, refer to them. Uh, Cecilio Dominguez. Um, <laughs> when I was listening to the clip, I think off of, um, uh, I think, I think it was off the play call. Um, yeah, uh, they called him the Flying Par Par Paraguayan, which oh, I yeah. thought was lit. The Flying Paraguayan. Yeah, yeah, Paraguayan, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, there you go. Um, Alex Ring, yeah. who got a goal. We were, and that the guys was were, two, again, were active, you know. Ring he got involved. Cecilio's involved. Driussi was making plays all over the place. Kip Cecilio Keller. was, like, running. Like yeah. I mean, it was so cool because it was exciting to be there. But when you watch the replays, you actually see how it sure. all got set up. Sure. And there was one where, you know, Driussi passed. And I remember they were like – they were like classic soccer. They're like unselfish, unselfish <laughs> move. And whoa, 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 whoa! We gotta talk about how good that, chunk. how good that the accent was. Can you, can we get a little bit more of that? that oh, was that's smooth. just my generic. That, no, no, that was butter. That was really. That was Adrian. Adrian would be proud of you right oh, now. Oh, really? Was butter. Unselfish move. Bad <laughs> iron block. Up three nil. <laughs> That's pretty nil. Good. I might just start saying nil in places zero great. in every aspect. Well, now that I know life. you can do that, you're. I mean, we're gonna have to ask for something like that every week. So. Just give me some good feeders. Yeah. Um. But you know what? When Austin puts up five goals, it's there's. Well, let's a lot talk of about the atmosphere when we do. When, whether we score five goals or not, being there. Um. Tell me how your your first impressions, and then leaving the game. How do you feel about so, the Q two? I was so you know we uh, were very fortunate to get the same uh, section that we were in. We're behind the goal uh, uh, that we had last year, and actually one of the fans um, featured in, in that video with Mr. McConaughey narrating. Uh, he's the gentleman who signs. We saw him, oh, nice. and it was and like the cool thing is so funny because I I don't do sign language, so I couldn't say hey you know I I saw you in this video or sure, whatever, sure. but. He, you know, recognized me, my wife, son. You know, we're, we share this section together. And it was, honestly, it was a reunion. Okay. It was a reunion. There is, there's one dude. So we got the, the cats, Leo, uh, who's who's uh, deaf. And, you know, he's, he's got a couple other uh, uh, people, like, that he has seats with, sure. right? And then I can't tell. I mean, they're all signing together and stuff like that. Then there's this one dude. And there's a dude. I need to get this dude's name. I need to... We need to figure this out. And Spence, maybe you can probe my brain with one of those computers. We got the super fan of my section. Okay. I am not even kidding you. This dude, like, and sometimes he gets a little wild. The last game, like, he was, like, chucking water and stuff everywhere. Okay. I remember they, yeah. they had a little talking to, but these things happened. But um, uh, that dude was there with his brother. And it was, like, it was so cool because we're all back. And even when we did the first season, look, I'll just, you know, it was a, a, a uh, just a, it was a breath of relief to just be out. Again. Sure. You know what I mean? Everyone is experiencing out. that in some form or another, man. I couldn't have said it better myself. It's just, everyone's just kind of, there's a weight loaded off. You know, people getting back, their, their feeling of safety um, is all relative, but everyone getting out and enjoying not only uh, 
a live event, but a live event that's still new, still in a growing phase, and then also just a place like Q2 that's just so raucous, man. I can imagine. But you know what's what funny like. too? It and I, I've only been to one other MLS game. Okay, but it was insane. All right, it was at LAFC Galaxy. Oh yeah, oh that's I mean that's, at I'm Bank sure, uh, California. Yeah, I'm sure with that's beautiful crazy. stadium, and I believe the same architect. Yeah, that was very intense. Okay, what was so cool um, about my experience last uh, uh, Saturday, there were two Cincy fans who came in. Oh, yeah? Now, hey, it's easy to be chill when you're up, at that point, three goals, you right, know what I mean? Right, But it was just so friendly and welcoming, and yeah. everyone was cool and, and having a good time. And also, shout out for a uh, Cincinnati fan coming to Austin. That's fair. That's, you know, I tip my Cincinnati cap. Cincinnati and the city's riding high. They got a Super Bowl appearance uh, by That's the Bengals, true. so That's I can true. see them That's having true. some optimism about yeah, their team. Feeling it. The other day was not their day, no. uh, but uh, no. you know I'm sure that I'm sure they're you know ready to cheer them on. Um, well, speaking of that, sure, let's talk about the people that make it special, the SGs as they say, the supporter Ooh, groups. Yeah, right? yeah. So they're directly across. Okay, from where so you we see them just going nuts the whole time. Right? It's so funny because like I just you know without having any reference. Yeah, it's not like I've been going to other MLS. Games, right. You know what I mean? I'm just like, yeah, th- it's loud over there. We are. If this is your first experience going to consistent soccer games, you're spoiled yeah, because yeah. Los Verdes, Austin Anthem, La Murga, they're they're throwing it down. Yeah. yeah nonstop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rain or shine, they're getting after it because right, you know, the game was cold. Yeah. I saw you in your jacket. You were bubbled up. You were laid jacket. up. It was a suit. Yeah. I was. It was a head yeah. to toe. I had to slip. I, luckily, was, it's easy to go to the bathroom. He was climbing Everest. <laughs> but he, but you're comfortable. That's the whole point. Oh, dude. But those, those that crew is gonna be there uh, in May when it starts heating up. Oh yeah. They just but they it doesn't I'm matter sweating. and they bring it and the rest of the league is noticing. Um, players are noticing. Other fans are noticing. Other announcers are noticing. And so can't give enough love to them. They make this place as special yeah. as it is. Our guys can't wait to play at home. I mean, you gotta remember last season. Oh, by the way. Los yeah. Verdes is in the chat. Los Verdes, Los shout Ver- out. Of shout course out. you are. Yeah. Of course you are. We I started last season on the road eight straight games as yeah. an expansion team, Crazy. you know. And that's just a rough way for anyone to go about the season. So now we're getting the interspersed home games. And, again, we're spoiled. So, uh, thank you. Those guys are in- insane. They're incredible. They do they, – they, they, they just can't get enough, uh, enough props. So, keep doing what you're doing. Support them if you can. Um, and we should probably get in because I look, you know, it's something that I've experienced from afar. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you hear La Morga, yeah. which is basically from what I've understood and kind of digging into it. Um, basically like th- th- what you hear it, like if you ever go to Carnival or, or yeah, see it on the, TV, the band. it is a band, it's percussion, it's yes. those, those sounds. So you hear La Morga for, you're hearing it all, but it's the sounds, it's right. actual instruments, it's musicians. Um, and then Anthem, and Los Verdes are just, yeah. they're just getting wild with the chance. They, I mean, they have a whole list. I, I, I have the, I got a. Los even, Verdes the one who comes up with those actual. I, 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 I don't know who gets dale, the. Dale, dale, I don't dale, know who gets ATX. the credit. Who gets if, credit. if it's Anthem or Los Verdes? Don't be mad at me. Uh, I'll find out. Sebastian on the back the, end. Ask how um, nine thousand. But uh, if anyone gets that reference. So, oh, Not speaking of, we'll go to the chat real quick. Los Verdes. Yeah. Says so Oh, Los Verdes is in the house in the chat. What up? Guys? How, how, Los Verdes is asking, how do we get the whole stadium singing along with La Murga? Uh, uh, man, that's a good question. I, I, that's not something that I, I can you know attest to. But you Spencer, know, because you've got get a tickets. giant monitor. We need the monitor. Yeah. We need to the we we're all sheep. We're all sheep in I, the end of the I'm day. A, a monitor will. I'm not a sheep. You know, in a way. I'm not a sheep. In a way. No. I am. I will. Okay. I, I follow directions, really. <laughs> like, that's why he told me to stand up. I stood up for like 10 minutes. Um, yeah. 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 But that, that that's my thing. Well, so I Get think on the screen. I'm already getting corrected. La Murga does the chant. So, La Murga. Oh, uh, word. There you whether go. Whether that's creating them or just putting them into play, they're doing the chants, which is, I appreciate you correcting me. Uh, that's the kind of stuff I like to know. Yeah, that's um, super good to know. So Thank they said they had really. a QR code on the big screen. Ooh, we're getting Amen. some serious intel here. So, yeah. I'm, again, I've experienced we got to be careful with QR learning. codes. We don't know. Yeah, it's, uh, you know we'll but, figure uh, it out. We'll, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll let you guys know. Because, um, yeah, imagine Q2. We've got one end, or one, one end 
doing chants and then kind of trickling out from the imagine so the entire I'm getting mad intel in here the this entire is fascinating stadium so and th maybe this, this will be very helpful for everybody here so uh and this is coming from from los verdes in italy uh los verdes La, La Murga comes up with the lyrics okay. but does get input on song ideas from okay. all the supported groups. So it's, it's, it's a collab. It's, it's kind of like the European Union. It's collaborative. Yeah, this is fascinating. Okay. Um, uh, Los Verdes and Anthem overlap members in La Murga. Uh -huh. So you could be Verdes and La Murga. Got you. How about that? Okay. Uh, La Murga is a band and they run the chants from Section 123 Los Verdes. The Cincy game was the loudest. Jesus. The best kind of Venn Oh my diagram. God, is that the super fan? Is that you? Is that you in there? I swear to God, I think you're the guy, or you're the guy's brother. Um, <laughs> since the game was loudest, uh, the rest of the team has been singing along, and I can remember. Yeah, I mean, clearly, I was. How could you not get fired up? I don't know. You, I'd have, you'd have to not have a pulse to not right. get buck wild for that five and zero game. Right. Um, oh man, Los Verdes. This is so cool. So on, on on the same token, we've got incredible fan atmosphere, uh, just a constant buzz. Crazy when the goals happen all game long. Yeah. But another part of that experience is concessions, which usually oh, in most stadiums uh -oh. is not a place where you come no. to indulge. It's not a place that you're yeah. looking forward to, but Q2 is different, right? Yep. And they you set know. it up that way. Talk, talk about that a little bit. So, of course, this was, this was bound to come up. <laughs> it was bound to the come up. The food guy talking about the food. The food guy talking about food. So... Yeah, I mean, I I have to say, and you know, like I, like part of you know what I've been doing the last few years is definitely visiting a lot of restaurants and just keeping up with the food scene nationally. Sure. But I've done it a lot in Austin. I'm very very proud to say that at Q2, I have friends there. Okay, I have friends there. Literally, first off, uh, the guys that. So I'll tell you, there's like. A sleeper taco joint. Oh. Like there, there's, there's. Oh. Of course, in Austin. Hold on. There's this is where you're, you're getting the, you're getting the inside scoop, Inside folks. info. Inside tap, info. Tap in a little bit. Tap now, in. I think it's fair to say that the quote unofficial breakfast taco in Austin. I might get added for this, but just because of location and because they do such a great job at Taco Deli. Right? Okay. And they have their it's signature an OG salsa. and it's you know a yeah, lot of people have it. It's been around since like ninety nine. It's got good distribution. It's a great. It's it's a solid good taco. It's when I get uh, get the auto taco, which is uh, the best breakfast you've ever had without eggs. It's yeah. Beans, uh, bacon, and cheese. It's delicious. Never said no to either um, of those in my life. Exactly. Yeah. It, it, it's kind of like a perfect breakfast taco. Okay. I love to. It's my tradition when I fly out of uh, Austin Airport. Okay. I get those tacos. I wait till I'm at cruising altitude. I'm oh, eating man. the best meal possible. There you go. Unless you have a private plane. Um, um, so <laughs> Taco Deli's great, and then honestly, I think like it, it, being a guy who hosts a show called Cheap Eats, bang for your burger, bang for your buck, uh, <laughs> is going to be Valentina's yeah. their brisket taco because it is a, yeah. it's basically a small burrito, it's fabulous, um, ten bucks, best ten bucks you're gonna spend, at least it was last season. To no regrets. Yeah. But the sleeper taco joint. Okay. One taco. One taco. One taco. Really? So uh, okay. the only way I know it is just like how my little feet make my path. So okay. I go and sit down. Um, I'm across from like the, the Los Verdes and the Super Bay. We're going to draw you a map. Yeah. We're going to let you know exactly where to go. So you're basically making your way to the other goal side. And I, I go this way. So if I'm facing uh, uh, like Los Verdes, La Morga, and, yeah. and, and the Anthem, like I'm going to get out of my seat and bank left. That's where you'll find. Oh, it's right by Pluckers. Okay, right by it's Pluckers. It's right by Pluckers. Um, one Taco is lit. And what I love about them, and this is it's so funny because they're, they're cool guys. And this isn't just a pure plug because I love them all. Love every all the restaurants at Q2. But um, they do a really dope thing on game days where it's like, they have deals on food and drink, mm. you know. So if you if you're and and away games oh. and away games, okay. Oh, we, we're gonna go. Okay, we're gonna we go. Gotta, we're we gonna, gotta find go. a trip to go. We're oh, gonna go. one taco is a sleeper taco joint, and you know there, there's loads of stuff in there. Um, you know you gotta love the drinks, tea lokes, amazing Sonoran style hot dogs. Man. We even have Arizona imported hot dogs. Yeah. Sonora is like yeah. Well, I mean yeah, it's it's just we got it all. Second to none. All. Second to none. Uh, you're gonna get. Your money's worth from food standpoint, from a atmosphere standpoint. I you know, too, other places, like I remember when, when City Field got Shake Shack. Mm. You know, like, that's cool. But I was in New York at that time. I remember that. That was yeah, a big deal. That was a big deal. Big deal. That was a huge upgrade. Yeah. But our stuff is local. Sure. 
I mean, like, Miguel Vidal yeah. is like a Valentina barbecue. He's like, I've seen him there. Yeah. He's slinging. And if you didn't know, doing the work. Q2 is going to have a, a rotational uh, one or two stands. Yes. yes. They have where a stand they're going to they give, rotate it out. You know, either a less known or an up and coming. It might be tacos, it might be barbecue, it might be whatever. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't want to give the wrong direction. Dude, what they corner? have like dumplings. Yeah. It's, 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 it's kind of, gonna, it's a little overwhelming. It's just, it's just, it's a whole different ball game, and we we're setting the pace on that. So you're going to eat good when you're there. You're going to be energized to cheer even harder, even louder. Drink a little bit, you know, get a little, little sagushi on it, Hopefully. I mean, what's crazy is I was only able to get two Dos Equis. They mm. were the talk in. He so. was just locked in, though. He was just oh. so... You know what else in. I love too? What's that? There's a marketplace. Oh, okay. My kid wanted M and M's. Yeah. I needed a dose of right. But they have like all this great beer. Okay. Like from like, look, large cans, so you don't have to get up all the time. The tall boys, the yeah. Action. We like we those like, beyond tall. Oh, this, we like those are twenty four. I like the tall boys. I, yeah. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, but they have like craft beer as well. Uh, and okay. there's even craft beer on draft. There, 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 there's so much stuff. Um, uh, yeah, a lot of lot to eat. A lot to drink, uh, but you know, I think, um, man, I feel like, should we get into like, kind of the, boop, 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 boop. that's my, that's the low, yeah, I'm trying to sing the low rider song. Oh, the low rider. <laughs> yeah, did you get it? Yeah. Did anyone get it? I think, I, did, uh, I tried, I, I tried my hardest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. uh, so, okay. there is, I think, mm. something super cool. What do you think? You feel like yeah, let's do that. Uh, Austin, you know, has an incredible, you know, Variants of cultures w woven into the city's history, uh, and Austin FC has an incredible job of kind of tapping into those different scenes. I mean, from Austin Anthony Lamorga to the, in the supporter groups um, to the, the the food scene. But there's a special one that you know you and I are both new to, but I think is an yeah. incredible, uh, unique thing to the city. Um, the lowriders. The lowriding. I you know um, I feel like just automatically. Coming into the stadium um, and also being around the sport of soccer, you can't not have some sort of connection with Latin culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just that's, that's it's just, just by, by No matter numbers. what happens in the city, change is, is kind of a thing that we're all used to, but the heart and soul, the roots are uh, Hispanic, Lat Latino groups. Yeah. Um, Defines have, the city. They've defined what Austin is yeah. for a long, long time. And what's interesting, I think, with the lowriders is, and you know, I lived in LA for twenty years, and you know, it's kind of interesting because I, I went to USC, which is in the northeastern right. section of South Central Los Angeles. Gotcha. Right? So it's not hard to zip around and see a rim shop. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to see like and catch a Sunday, and you'll see like cats doing the drive. You yeah. know, now that's not something I grew up with but i mean look between music i mean music videos i grew up you know in the heyday of like snoop you know what i yeah, mean i sure. just see you know the impalas the that's, six the, that's a perfect little bottleneck i mean all those things kind of combined yeah I love that, and sure. just to see that as part of the culture that austin fc can represent yeah is actually a really really amazing thing because you know look i mean you came from a shorter distance, Dallas, yeah. right? I came from Los Angeles. We're both definitely part of this population explosion, right? Yeah. But there has been uh, a lot of culture in this city that should be continually recognized. And Absolutely. I feel like low riding is frankly an amazing way to connect with black and brown communities for sure um and even just the concept of like what what is it i mean what is it really it's restoring a car like in my neighborhood because i live on the east side yeah. right um kind of more like by black land right right you know, off mlk there's a dude in my neighborhood and forever like for my last dog i my on my second dog now for my last dog, i remember walking and i just saw this dude working on this big old like 1970s cruiser car I love like it. you know like one of those cars where you're like this was before gas got out of control <laughs> just huge it reminded me in, in, in good fellas it's like the car they drive around and oh, you yeah. can keep a couple bodies for, oh, you know okay. what i mean right. hey. this huge car and to this day for years it's just up on a cinder block and he just kind of works on it yeah. as he does and it's not like oh i gotta get this thing fixed and go to work it's just I mean, it's more than a hobby. You know what I mean? It's just like I, I find it to be a really interesting concept of, of, of passion, to just be 
continually working on something yeah you know and you know what some people can say oh i don't want to see a car up on cinder block i think it's dope yeah and i think lowriders is a a really awesome awesome well shout out to uh trampia guzman and austin lowriders yeah. they're representing crossing over uh they're huge austin fc supporters uh, you'll see them wearing green and black everywhere you go uh stop and say hello man they've got an incredible community um open to, open to anyone if you're a car enthusiast a lowrider enthusiast Soccer enthusiasts, they they got everything for you. Um, so we just, got a really interesting because we were talking about we were talking about beer. Marshall and I apparently we like beer. Uh, someone said mm -hmm. it was Michael Wurmeister, which to be honest, that kind of German name sounds like a yeah. great beer actually. Uh, how do we get some more local craft beer options at Q two? I know that there was an area where you can get craft beer. Well, I we think you I'm know draft. there's well well we'll kind of we'll temper this conversation because you know. We Austin has an incredible selection and array, uh, citywide of craft beers, but there are some designated partners uh, in the stadium, so uh, I think that's kind of locked in a little bit. But yeah. an incredible part of the Q2 scene when you're pre-gaming, yeah. come to the game, yeah. adjacent, blocks away. A lot of breweries. I, I can't even count on both of my hands. That's ten fingers. I'm sure there's more than that. Yeah, yeah. Where you can go and sample all different kind of brands, local, um, craft beer. You and got Hop Squad is nearby and Salus. Okay. Um, and then okay. I, I know that because of food trucks. I got, you, I got you. <laughs> Full disclosure, I do that because of food trucks. But you. in general, because it is the north side of the city, yeah. you're going to find breweries up there just because they need space. And, I mean, even semi-close. Austin Beer Works isn't too far. Yeah. And you know what? Like, take an Uber. I got to tell you, I scored. What would you score? My Uber ride? Yeah. So cheap. Okay. I scored. I, I It motivated me to get... Dos Dos Equis. We're here for the we're here for the pluses. <laughs> we're here for all Life the pluses. Hack. Life hack right there. Oh, somebody's my neighbor. Paul Adams, black. Oh, man. there we yep. go. Yep. Yep. Shout we're out neighbors. to Ali when you see him in the street. I know. I'll be in the green. Yeah. Pistachio. Is that we gonna are we, yeah, I know. Is are it we pistachio? going from mint to pistachio? I was I was sold on mint, but I, I, I like pistachio. I thought it said Dimiento it was kinda it too. I yeah. know. Who knows? Well Maybe that's the name. that's the slogan. It, it, they can't see it, but it's on the inside of the collar. But uh, oh, there they it's it's legit, a, right? a it's not a No, that's legit, man. You yeah, got yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. not selling knockoffs. No, you, you, he's kitted up. He's no, kitted no, up. no. This is this is a real kit. Yeah, for sure. This is a kit. Um, so Glorious. yeah, Austin, uh, Q2 and Austin FC, just an incredible atmosphere. Um, what a start to the season. Five five nil against uh, Cincy. Um, you you our had guys a prediction. Looked, what was your prediction? So yeah, we again we were prepping for this, kind of getting yeah. our reps in, trying to figure this out a little bit. Um, and I said, well, what would you say first as far as a score prediction for this opener? Remember what I, you said? So I, I, I remember. I do you remember? You want me to remind you? Yeah, no, you said 1-0. Oh, you really? You said 1-0. That, that's State. realistic. That's fair. That's Re realistic. Realistic. I, on the other hand, I said 3-1 Austin FC. Again, not 5-0, but I gave our guys a little more credit. I mean, come on. you know. Look, I, I have all the faith in Josh Wolf. I have all the faith in the front office, <laughs> but you know it's soccer. That's fair. It's soccer. No, you're right. It's you know, and we're just we're excited. Uh, we've got a lot of turnover, a lot of new faces, a lot of yeah. old faces, and just it, we're excited to see how they're gonna. It's, listen, I played the professional sports for 11 years, professional football. Uh, the seasons are marathons; they're not sprints. And yeah, you know, last year was such an aberration as far as the scheduling mm -hmm. and everything being brand new. Starting on the road eight games, and so I'm just excited for our guys to get into a rhythm. Josh to show his his coaching skills because we believe he's got an incredible mind for soccer, and for these new guys to blend in with the older guys um, and really make something happen. I, you know, we we have some journalists that have to do their job, mm -hmm. um, who maybe not as high on FC Austin FC. Oh yeah, for the, for the, the, that's the reality. It's a reality. Objective, but I sport. all I'm gonna say is I I'm looking forward to our guys proving them wrong. We've got an incredible locker room, a great mix of talents, yeah. uh, personalities. Hopefully, you guys will get to see see some of them as the season progresses. Uh, sitting in this chair, this chair, or squeezing between us two, uh, be having to deal with our energy and our our, our crap. <laughs> um, we hope to give you guys more insight into kind of their day to day uh, stuff around the facility. Other people in the in the front office, our guys here who are looking like Tom Cruise and Minority Report on the board on the switchboard, making stuff happen behind the scenes. Spence and Ryan, 
Um, but like this is one. this is an incredible thing, and I'm so excited. We this so is our we, first show, guys. This we got some shout outs again. You know, this is and you know to your point, uh, this is a place for the fans. You know what I mean? The, the we'll let the so called experts, the suits, yeah, they can analyze. Uh, I guess I'm on the other happen. side now. I'm not you know I'm not playing football. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. on the. I'm on the fan side. Right here, baby. Yeah. Corazon. Nothing but heart now. (laughs) Nothing but heart. Uh, But we got some interesting shout outs uh, in here that I wanted to. Oh, really great point. If maybe, you know what? You know what they say? Uh, Cider is the new craft beer. Cider is a big thing here in Austin. Uh, Fairweather Cider. Great one. Nearby as well. I like that. Yeah. Um, Okay. So this is the super fan. Is that you, Michael? Is that you? The WKRP, he okay. had a WKRP oh, really? sign. Don't pretend like you know what that show is. It's like an old sitcom, yeah? <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, it's He's like just Wings me or old. something. <laughs> wings! <laughs> it's like a oh, that's, that's rich. That's rich. <laughs> they both start with W. Hey, I don't know. You're, about, you're off by two decades. But yes, uh, it was a show that took place in Cincinnati. Okay. These guys had the sign. I think this is the super fan. Will you chat at me? Are you the super fan? Michael I know C. It's you. Is that him? Michael C. If that's that or his brother, uh, De- Demario Wood says went to my first MLS game ever this past weekend. I'm now an Austin FC. There we fan. go. Wow. Uh, it was a total. Hey, five he loves goals, the total stadium diversion. and the vibe. I mean, you couldn't Amazing. have said it better. That's just that's what we're going for. We as in you know everyone that puts that on. Uh, Trying to just cultivate just an incredible experience for fans and even visiting fans. We're gonna we're gonna have visiting fans. We hope that yep. they're up in the nosebleeds, not too far, but up. That's we're right. Not you make like it, too it much up noise. there. If you don't know, there is a section of Q2 designated yeah. for the aways. For yeah, the for the for call, we'll call them the aways. The for aways. Now. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know we want them up there to be seen and not heard. So we put them up in this little qu- this little quadrant. Um, but yeah, the Q2, uh, I think. Atmosphere vibe wise is, is is second to none. You know, this is gonna sound like a lame plug, but it's so true. And I think what's really rad. Lame plug and coming. Uh, it's I, there really isn't a bad seat. No, you there's too. not. That's a great point. And like, and and I say that because honestly, like, you know, especially in the first couple games where you're just first of all, Q two's dope. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a freaking spaceship landed. You know what I mean? You're trying so to the see every, games, you're trying to walk all. The yeah, squares. we're walking yeah. around because there's dope stuff to eat and drink everywhere. So I'm clearly going to do that. Huge pro shop uh, for all your gear. So if you're ever at the stadium, stop in. I'm right by the Verity store. Oh, there you go. So you can pop right in for you know. You're like, uh, oh, so, you know, Fagundes just scored. I need a shirt. I got to support yeah. the guy. You know, I bought my kid like a thirteen dollar koala bear. Yeah, these, these are the things that yeah. happen. Well, we you know we debuted a kit today. You know, but. Austin FC as a dedication to having as if you were around there's last merch. year, there's gonna be a lot of merch, a lot of new kits to come. We hope to be able to provide a lot of that inside access for you guys as as the season goes on. But you'll find the stuff in that shop. Yeah. So when you go, pop on in. They got the Yeti foosball table. Oh man, that's kind of like the lot. You gonna take I, that home from the game? No, I'm gonna start going a GoFundMe. Okay. Come on, chime in you with gotta me. Gotta bring a, your your truck bed. Uh, but you know, I was gonna say even for that section for the away fans or yeah. whatever the aways. Yeah. It's a good view up it is. there. There's like the perspective is really, really not, cool. They, they thought of that, uh, you know, in the, in the early process of just yeah. having a stadium where, um, you know, all the fans can enjoy and just that there's not a bad seat in the house and the atmosphere would really just reverberate. So no, it's I, lit. That's a great. It's, it's a great lit. point. Uh, oh my God, that is super fan, Michael C. That's me. My brother is Brian. Are you the one with longer hair, bro? You dude is wild. I'm telling you, you, you know, I have four C. Okay. We have to bring you in for one. All right, we can do that. So you can experience apparently, apparently the Michael. Apparently, and Michael's his a wild man. All right. Dude, it's it's pretty awesome. Kawisenberg DFS. Marcy, oh, are we slanging? You look a lot better wearing Austin Green than at oh, Packers yeah. Green. <laughs> I'm still salty about Super Bowl XLV. So you must be a Steelers fan. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, we're but drifting into the other football, but a, it's you all know, good. different shade of green. But I just think green makes my eyes pop. So it's just something that's kind of stayed, stayed with me. It's just a, an incredible coincidence. But I appreciate it. You Thanks know what's cool? The fans are talking to each other. John Newhouse asks, "What's the site to purchase Austin FC garb?" <laughs> I, I, and, and Carlos, Carlos, my man, Carlos, who, dude, he's got. I'm not sure which one that is. That's either. My brother or or my dad is chiming in. So, I, oh, really? what's the official site that folks oh. can get their get their get their stuff? Yeah, that's good. Spencer, MLS MLSshop.com maybe or Verde 
MLSstore.com. I don't want to MLSshop.com. MLSshop. MLS I'm off the dome. Com. Off the dome. MLSshop.com. That's pretty good. Get all get all get swagged out with your Austin FC yeah, stuff. You're a, appreciate you're a that. Shopper. Yeah, John or or he just Pops, bought a Tesla one, right Appreciate now. it. Uh, do y'all know why the Austin FC YouTube channel is set to made for kids? Any anything video? with what we're doing right yeah. now? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> give us a little patience. Our yeah. guy Spence is a wizard, literally a wizard. He's got 17 <laughs> screens and a switchboard. Uh, he could he could connect you to India right now if you needed it, <laughs> but give us a chance to work the out the kinks. The internet's not that hard. We're uh, we're figuring it out. So whatever you know, the feedback is great. We appreciate it. Um, but John we're, Newhouse we're gonna get better and better. Yeah, that's my pops. I told you it's one of the two. You know There's what? You can Roman have the four seat of Marshall to know, Flakes. I happen to know two of them, so I appreciate it. Hot um, dang! What's so, going on? Yeah, again, we, what else have we covered? Have we? I mean, this is our first show. I feel. I feel alive. Yeah. I'm excited. I also want to throw this out there for you guys watching in the chat. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, catch us in two weeks. Uh, we'll be here. YouTube Every live. other Tuesday, 1, 1 p.m. PM Central. Um, again, this is a show for you guys, about you guys. Um, we want to share as much of it with you. We'll have a lot more stuff, uh, fun things to show you, reveal to you, talk about uh, guests, all the above. Um, looking forward to it. This has been great, man. Man, what do you think? I don't know. I'm having a blast right now. I can't we're believe I have to wait two more we're weeks. For the, this. We're setting the bar pretty high. We could have easily just fallen on our face multiple times, and it doesn't look like we've done that so far. So yeah, and we're um, keeping it fun. We're talking about all the other aspects of the game besides the uh, particulars of the actual sport. Oh whoa, Primo five one two says cheers for me and the guys at We Are Austin TV. I cheers, follow you Primo. guys. You're so rad. You know that's what's been super cool too with with the with the supporter groups and right. stuff. I've been following them on social media, and it's it's a lively bunch. Oh yeah, to, they to bring say the, energy. the least. They yeah, bring energy. I mean this whole thing is it's it's such a so much energy associated. I love with that this. when before even you know right as the team was announced, even leading up to it, and right after, um, we you know pre court and a lot of the you know Andy Andy and uh, a lot of the, the the front office guys they they they. Um, scheduled Stop. a lot of these meet and greets, uh, these kind of announcement parties all over Austin. Yeah. And every time, who was there? It was Anthem. It was Las it was the supporter groups who showed up in force and brought energy before there was ever a stadium, before yeah. there was a, a Stuver, before there was a Josh Stu Wolf. Um, they were there, and we, 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 we hope that you guys continue to be there. Um, and if you're not part of that group, support them. They're they're, they're the heartbeat of of the fan. So we just chimed group. in here. Top flight guys are dope too. Is that a new? Thing? We gotta okay. So we gotta give a us a little leeway. There? We're gonna catch up. So we've got yeah. We got some apparently a lot of Spencer, a lot of groups. put this in the books. Yeah, we have a lot Research of groups these guys. that we gotta we gotta keep tabs on and shout out. But you guys keep keep loading the chat. Let us know. We're hey we're we're learners. We're we're you know we're not we don't know everything. Did we're, you hear we're trying a to figure thing it out, you know? about uh? So, so coming off this big win, and um, now I'm thinking about the future. Yeah. The future. How far are we going to take wow. this? You guys, I, I want to know, chime in, how far do you think we're going to take this incredible start? But I read something about the last team to beat Cincinnati by multiple goals. Okay. I think was New York City Football Club. Okay. And they something won. happened last year at the end of the season. I can't remember what I happened. Think, oh, did they win it all? Yeah. Ah, that's crazy. I, I, Does that mean oh, that correlation, causation, uh, ipso facto? <laughs> hey, I'll take this it. This man's a professional athlete. <laughs> he doesn't ride on that kind of. I'm like, too pragmatic. I've I've yeah. seen I've seen how the sausage is made per se. Uh, I know too much, but I'm still I'm still hopeful. He's mind. I'm I'm heart. That's fair. I'm pointing at my together, brain because together, I have heart in my head. There you go. <laughs> I'm too pragmatic, but I, I have a lot of hope. Oh, wow, wow. Top Flight Podcast is the Austin FC pod. You know what? The more the merrier, I say. Yeah. Let's just build this thing. Let's I, I, got, I had a, a, the opportunity to be on the Amazing Verde and Black with Adrian and, and yeah. LaHood. Um, and there's a lot more podcasts I know that are out there that um, we love you guys' feedback. LaHood calls the games, right? Like, yeah, LaHood and Adrian. The television broadcast? Yes, yeah. He's the guy who did the, the fly-in para, Paraguay. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, right He's that a, one down. I mean, Shout out he's, to he's, he's a stud, natural, and then being in the booth with Adrian, I mean, uh, it, honestly, is there anything on has to do with Austin FC that's not top-notch? Didn't those two guys in the booth? Yeah, they're dope. You guys don't understand how, how nice you have it 
uh, for your local like broadcasting. Sean Connery role to his yeah. booster, in my opinion. And you and you did it pretty opinion. well. I think he'd be proud. I I, I was shooting for the hip. I was shooting for the because hip. if it was bad, I'm sure, I know he would have busted through the door. I can't like, late, wait. Man. I know. I, he would have yeah. had something to say about it. He, 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 we might have a sit down, but yeah. over a taco at least. Okay, there you go. Um. Man, I'm excited for us. I, I got the fourth seed. I'm excited for us to go to the game. I'm excited to kind of take you around to some different fights around the stadium. If you guys have favorite fights around the stadium, let me know. I want to try. We're going to start Marshall. a running list. Yeah, a running tally, and we'll knock them out. We'll knock them out this season for sure. So let us know the places you guys love, uh, the places that you guys uh, frequent, and come say hello if you see us. I, I'm not hard to miss. I, I'm just you know, I'm I'm tall, dark, and handsome. Yeah, yeah. This guy. You know, loud, he's going to be loud. Loud, green. Yeah. Loud, green, and grinny. There you go. <laughs> that just flew out but, of nowhere. <laughs> but, yeah, say hello. Um, oh, man. All right, so we got some more chatter we'll coming it. in here. Uh, but you know what? We're going to have to perhaps pin it for Yeah, two we'll weeks put a pin in it. Come back and see us, Lots guys. more to come, guys. Yeah, So excited. Appreciate come. you coming, your energy and chat. Um and bring your friends. Tell a friend. Shout it out on socials. Watch get this, party. Yeah, get this thing going. Um, I'm Marshall. This is Ali. Hey. Uh, we'll see you guys next Tuesday, 1 p.m. Be there, please. Verde and black, baby.